go grab four of these. There is mold all over it. And a lot of people are saying this isn't rescuing. Whoa! Round, 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 round. And he's off. Quick disclaimer before this video starts. Number one, you shouldn't really take your hermit crabs out of their tank like every day. Um, I haven't taken mine out since I got them. This is the first time. Also, if you do make this maze, make sure that the crab or crabs that you select are not shy crabs. You don't want crabs that are like shy and stuff because it could mean that they're stressed. Also, you don't want to choose one that's fresh off a of molt or anything. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, you should only really do this like once every other week in my opinion. Um, but it's up to you and what your crab likes. But they definitely like exploring and finding new things. So no crab was harmed in this video. Do not worry. And he had a really fun time and he didn't, if he was like stressed or anything, when I put him back in his tank, he would have buried himself, but instead he's just cruising all along. So that's just a little disclaimer at the beginning of the video and um, enjoy. Just filmed the whole intro and uh, it was zoomed in. So hello and welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm really excited for today's video because we're gonna go ahead and make a hermit crab maze. So currently I'm in Walmart and I just already picked out the boxes. I filmed that clip. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and grab like, I don't know how many of these, like four, I think. I think we'll grab four of these. We'll get two of these. We'll get one of these and then we want to go ahead and get this one because I'm going to cut the bottom of it and that'll be like how big the maze is I think. So let's get this. We have all of the boxes for our hermit crab maze. I also have some other box pieces in the car so that'll work too. Anyway I thought of this like a month ago right before I was getting the hermit crabs I kept seeing a lot of videos where like people had like a fish maze and, her and hamster mazes and stuff like that and I thought wow well I'm getting I just had to change aisles because everyone kept going down that aisle for some reason but I thought of this right before I got the hermit crabs and I was like, this will be perfect because they like to explore, they like to go through, you know, a bunch of different things, climb over everything. So this will be perfect for them. And I actually looked it up today right before I was about to leave just to see if anyone had done it. In the first video I clicked on, there's a few videos on YouTube, but the first one I clicked on is actually one of my subscribers, Dolphin Cutie World. I think it's that way or it's the other way around. I'll go ahead and leave the link to her channel and her video down below. You guys can go check it out. She comments on like pretty much all my videos or all of my videos. Even though I didn't get the idea from her, it's still nice to shout her out because you know, she did make it previous to me making it. But we got all our boxes. So let's go ahead and check out and uh, make this thing. All right, so I'm now in the room where the hermit crabs are. The tank is right there. Oh, but also, do you like this? It says dream big. My girlfriend and I put it up in the room. She put the rose there because she tried to do some like DIY project and um, got water everywhere, <laughs> even though I told her it wasn't gonna work. So that's fun. Also, if you guys hear noise, that is the Baby Betta Sorority Rescue Tank. I'm not gonna update you guys on that tank in this video, but hopefully the next video or the video after that, depending on how, which way I upload them. So stay tuned for the next videos if you want an update on them. So now the reason that I am doing this hermit crab maze is simply because I need to take out a lot of the stuff that is in the tank. Because unfortunately, in my initial research, I did not realize that if you have a high humidity and the tank isn't like propped open for air to flow in and out, that you will get quite a bit of mold growing. And also you shouldn't spray the tank to increase the humidity, you shouldn't spray it with fresh water. You should spray it with the salt water. Didn't know that because the salt water will help prevent the mold. So there's a few things that I didn't do to prevent it. And basically, well, let's see. The food puffs up like a Chia Pet within literally one day. And then it gets really bad the second day because I like to change out the food every other day. There's a raspberry under there. You just, you can't see it. Unfortunately, even though my hammer crab loves this reptile, like there is mold all over it. And he really likes to go and hide. Sorry for the glare of the light, but he likes to go and hide up in there. Um, but unfortunately I do have to remove it. And I'm not gonna try and save it or anything because I don't know if you guys can really tell, but there's mold all over it. So I'm only gonna go ahead and take one of the hermit crabs out. The reason is because the other two have been buried for like a week and a half. They may have come out at night. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I have not seen them and they could be molting or something. So I don't wanna disturb them. So I'm just gonna let them stay buried in the dirt. But there is one guy who literally is out 95% of the time when I come up to the tank. He usually comes over, but of course he's not going to do it because I'm recording. Um, but he'll come right up to the glass. And I haven't taken him out of his tank yet. Um, so this will be a nice chance for him to get out and explore. And he loves climbing over everything. So he's really going to like this maze. So I'm going to go ahead and get him. He's actually under the hide right now. I'm going to go ahead and get him out, bring him to the car in this. And then we're going to go ahead and put him into a bucket with some eco earth on the bottom. It's only a 10 minute drive, but you know, I wanna make them as comfortable as possible. Let's go ahead and get the hermit crab out and transport it to the fish room where we're gonna film the fish 
where we're going to film the hermit crab maze. The only reason I'm doing it there as opposed to here is because there just isn't room for me to do it. Um, and also, it is a little bit more humid there. I'm going to do it in the fish room, which it'll be more humid. So it won't really be any adjustment temperature or humidity wise from the tank. Buddy, I need you to just cooperate with me for one second. Like just one second. I don't want you to pinch me, okay? And just like that, we are now in the fish room, everyone. I know most of you want to see all the fish tanks, because trust me, I got a pretty big surprise and update for Lila. Everyone spam the comments right now if I should do an update on all of my tanks. There are a few surprises that I definitely want to mention if you guys want me to do that video. So I think you guys will really like if I do that video, like an update on all of my fish and all of my tanks and everything. I think that'll be a pretty good way because you guys haven't seen my tanks in like two weeks. But we have our boxes right here. The smaller ones are behind this one right here. And we have our other supplies like tape, more tape, uh, more tape, more tape, some shells, some pieces of cardboard that I already took from the house, and scissors. By the way, the hermit crab is in here and doing fine. He kind of just buried himself a little bit, um, but the whole ride he was just like on top. My girlfriend kept looking at him. Um, but yeah, he's just kind of like cruising around and everything. And this shouldn't take too long to make, so first step we have to do and pretty much like the only step we have to do is go ahead and cut this cardboard so I'm gonna I think this is gonna be the outline of it so all I have to do is put the box together and then cut like I don't know like six inches up and then that'll be how big the box is so 16 inches by 16 inches by 17 inches is the box so it'll probably be like 16 by 16 I guess but I may do like an extension with like this box so we're just gonna have to see first step obviously is to cut all of these flaps off of all of these smaller boxes. So there's like, what, eight boxes? Three, four, five, six, seven boxes. I gotta cut all the flaps off of, and that'll be what we use to make like the curves and the twists and turns and everything. Let's go ahead and roll the time lapse of me doing that. Oh yeah, by the way, 1,000 likes for another hermit crab video, 2,000 likes for another hermit crab maze. So it's up to you guys if I do this again. If I did it again, I'd definitely make it bigger and probably like two levels or maybe three levels. I don't know. We'd make it crazy. So 1,000 likes for another hermit crab video, just so I know that you're not getting bored of them or that I'm posting too many of them. And also 2,000 likes for another one of these if you like it. Also, I just want to clear something up real quick. I see a lot of comments on the video where I rescued the hermit crabs and a lot of people are saying this isn't rescuing, you're just buying them. If you look up the definition of rescue and saving and everything like that, I am rescuing them from the terrible conditions they are in when being sold and then rescuing them again from the 99% of people who will buy the hermit crabs and just leave them in that carrying case. This thing right here. The other thing is a lot of people are saying, oh, if you buy these, then they're gonna go out and buy more. That's not how statistics, marketing, or businesses work at all. Let's just say the business gets in 100 hermit crabs a week from the supplier. Just because I bought three of those 100 does not mean that the next week they're gonna buy 103 to the store. It doesn't work like that. I hope that explains it a little bit better, but it just doesn't work like that. It's not like, and especially compared to the tens of thousands that are sold every week, month, year, day, everything, my three are not going to impact that number so much where they go and buy extra, if that makes any sense. Also, I know that buying them is not solving the problem, which is why I started a petition. You guys can go check it out, link in the description down below, to try and stop places on the beach selling hermit crabs, especially incorrectly like this, but selling them in general. Back to the cutting of boxes. Well, we got a pretty hefty pile of these little cardboard pieces, so I think this will be enough. Did take a little bit of time. There's still some boxes left, so if we need to, we can just break more. And now what we want to go ahead and do is basically make the base of our maze. So let's go ahead and... Oh, I just missed the box. That was embarrassing. So let's go ahead. So let's go ahead and just uh, open up the box, figure out how high we want it, and then cut it. I don't recommend doing this with any of your shy hermit crabs, like the two that I have buried. Please don't dig out your hermit crabs from the substrate because they could be molting, but you kind of got to let them do their thing. The only reason I'm doing it with this hermit crab here is because he's very, very social and he loves to climb over everything. So I'm pretty sure he's going to enjoy this a lot. And also, if you do do this hermit crab maze, I don't suggest doing it like every day. Probably would only do it like once every other week. Um, just to keep the hermit crabs, you know, busy, not bored, exploring new things because of stress and stuff like that. If you kept getting taken out of your cage, you probably wouldn't like it. But every once in a while, you kind of be chill with it, you know, like you go explore some new land and stuff like that. 
you get what I'm saying. Like I said, I just gotta put the bottom together and then we'll cut it like six inches up or something, a little bit higher than those pieces. So let's go ahead and do that. Hello! Subscribe. I hope you guys can even see me because like honestly, I feel like you can't. That's like the straightest you're gonna get from me. <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? So here is our base for the maze. So I'm gonna figure out what other box I wanna use. All right, so right here, I think this is going to be our outline. I may add another piece after I start doing like the actual maze, but this is pretty cool. And I actually taped the bottom, so like these are stuck together for the most part. And I kind of just made it almost like a ramp, but it really doesn't go up. It's just to like hold them together. This is kind of what the outline of it is going to look like. And now we just got to fill it in with all those little pieces making the actual maze. All right, so I think the first section of this is done. Um, this is where he's going to start is right in here. He'll have to come out around and then this will be right here, the exit into the bigger part of the maze. So this is gonna be where it gets a little bit more tricky. Um, and so we're just gonna go ahead and start doing that, I guess. All right, so we start off right here in this like little loop-de-loop -loop thing, come down, around, here's a little dead end, and then this next part is gonna be like a zigzag. So it's gonna go up, over, down, over, up, and that's how you get to the rest of it. So now we gotta make that. All right, you guys, so I'm almost done with the maze, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the last few pieces in, and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys, and our hermit crab will go through the maze. All right, you guys, it is now time to put our hermit crab to the test and see if he can get through our hermit crab maze. So I'm gonna go ahead and take him out of the bucket now. As you guys can see, he kind of just buried himself right here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and gently just kind of, you know, move it around and everything. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick him up, and I'm gonna put him right here because this is the start. So I'm gonna put him in there, and then hopefully we'll see him get out and go all the way around, 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 around to the end right here. All right, so here we go. And he is off. It's coming out of his shell. Let's see, he's kind of checking it out. Let's see what he does. I'm gonna back away a little bit, kind of give him some space, let him explore on his own. But, oh, he's going that way. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see. All right, he's gone. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> he came right out of his shell and he said, all right, bet. And he's making his way around the first corner. And he's off. Going pretty dang fast. Wow, so here I made it out of there. Here he goes, coming around. Coming around, oh, there he goes. Still going around, still going around. Trying to figure out what is in here. There he goes, makes a second turn of the night. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a star hermit crab here. That was extremely cringy, I hope I never do that again. Okay, so I think what I might do to kind of help him is get a piece of cardboard, stick it, I don't want to scare him, but kind of stick it in front of him so that he knows that like he already went this way type of thing. I think that'll be kind of helpful. Yeah, so now he's turning around. Come on, buddy, you were doing really great and then you kind of stopped doing so great. No, turn around. So I'm gonna kind of just put this in front of him. I'm not touching him, but I just kind of want to show him like, okay, you already went this way. Yep, there you go, there he goes. There he goes, he's off. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and lean this up against here so he knows not to go back that way. Keep going, this is like his third turn. No, not that way. Come to me. Okay, Loki, I feel like he really likes this because he's just like cruising along. So again, once he goes through, I'm just gonna kind of stick this behind him. He won't really notice. Just this way. Oh wow, okay, so he didn't go that way. 
That was supposed to get, that was supposed to confuse him. He was supposed to go in there, it's a dead end. He's going around, nope, nope, nope. You wanna keep going this way. Nope, you're going the right way. Nope, go back. See, and now he gets trapped in the dead end. He could probably actually go over that one because it's kind of low, but hopefully he's not a cheater. Don't be a cheater. No, no, put that claw back. Put that claw back. Put your little arm back. No, he's trying to pull himself up. Okay, that did not really work. So as you can see, he's not really afraid of me. So I'm just gonna stick this behind him. This way here, he hopefully won't try and climb up that way. All right, so I've been recording on my phone this whole time, but he's kind of stuck in like this one spot. I'm not gonna stress him out or anything. I don't wanna stress him out or anything. So I don't wanna keep like, you know, putting the cardboard in front of him and trying to, like, I'm just gonna let him kind of go where he wants to go right now. I just took the piece of cardboard out. I'm just gonna let him kind of roam where he wants to, climb over what he wants to, and um, you know, just give him a little bit more time. And then we're gonna go ahead and bring him back to the house where I'm gonna go ahead and remove some of the stuff from the tank and um, give him some food and yeah, we'll be set for the night. So get your play time in now, buddy. All right, so as you guys can see, maybe, he's right there, he's still playing. Um, and he seems really happy. He doesn't seem like stressed out or anything like that. Um, like I said, this is my most social crab. The other two crabs kind of just, honestly, they just stay buried. Um, that could be because they're molting and stuff, but still, he's really social and he's honestly not like afraid of me. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna head back to the house and take care of the tank and put him back in it. But I'm gonna keep this maze just because, you know, every other week or so, I'll let, let him come out and, you know, explore and everything. Maybe I'll change it up, put some other stuff in it, things like that. Maybe put some food at the end of it as like a prize. I was gonna do that this time, but unfortunately I forgot the food and water bowls. So that didn't exactly work. So I will see you guys back at the house where we'll clean out the tank, put them back in, all that stuff. Maybe we'll see the other hermit crabs, but I doubt it. Like I said, I really haven't seen them. So yeah, see you guys there. All right, so back at the room, as you can see, there's the hermit crab tank right there. Still just going everywhere, but uh, you know, He's doing great. So what I'm gonna remove is the shell that had the food in it that is now all moldy. I'm gonna remove the log and this thing right here. But the only thing is the shell I'm gonna throw out and this I'm gonna throw out. That log I'm gonna try and save somehow. Um, I have to look up how to remove the mold from it. Look up how to remove the mold from it. But um, the tank is gonna be just a little bit bare for a couple days. And then once I figure out, you know, what else I could put in the tank, hopefully stuff that doesn't, you know, stuff that mold doesn't really grow on, and obviously change it up and spray the inside of the tank with the salt water bottle instead of the fresh water, that should also help as well. So a couple things to do, and then I'll go ahead and put it back in there. All right, so I just finished taking everything out, and that's just what it looks like just for now. Um, as you can see, he's right back there. And I kind of added some more substrate, so now it's like, it's pretty deep. I gotta move around just a little bit more so that it's like even. I also refilled their water bowls, which get dirty so easily. He literally just went through them right after I put them back in. <laughs> I have not decided on hermit crab names yet. I'm sorry, I know some of you probably wanted to hear that in this video, what their names are. That is gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the hermit crab maze. Um, it was really fun to make. It only took me like 15, 20 minutes to make. And um, he had a really fun time. Actually, I don't even know if it's a he, but the hermit crab had a fun time and was going crazy all through it and I didn't even record half of it playing and everything. Uh, maybe next time I'll make like a playground, like a hermit crab playground instead of just a maze. But it was really fun. So make sure you guys like this video, drop a comment down below. I'm currently standing on a bed. That's, that's what I'm doing right now. But uh, <laughs> drop a like, comment down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications. I'm going to be in a full and I will see you guys in the next video, hopefully in two days. So yeah, bye.